So does it make sense to people that when you're out in a way and you're looking for help from family, from friends, from community, from supportive members, does it make sense to people that I would come up with the fact that they they wanted me removed just as bad as my buddy for some reason? And I mean, I have right to speculate. I have right to my feelings. I have right to my emotions. And if the way people are treating me hurts me, then I have right to say that. Like, call, call them out on it and say, no, you're hurting me. You're hurting me by leaving me in the blight in the first place. Like, that doesn't stack up on top of it, you know? Like, emotion, emotional value alone. Not to mention everything else that you're having to fight and face. It makes no sense to me why I don't have the right to come out online suggesting what I'm saying happening to me in the first place as a targeted individual and it coming from someone so close that you just didn't, you wouldn't see it coming and if you were, well, let's just say you're being made into a dumb shit. Because I look at my medical history and I think back to everything that I've said throughout my medical history and I think that these doctors are fucking dumb shits. You couldn't see that I'm in fucking pain in a way that's, that, what, whatever, over all the length of time or a, any time that you could suggest to me that there's a crime happening to me. Whatever. People just want to create, people want to make you invalid before you're fucking actually brain dead, basically, by what they're doing to you. And mind you, I did get up to a 9.9 .9 prior to this chemical attack. Right here in my own house, flop into the fucking ground. How is it that someone can deflect on that? Minimize it. Go ahead and minimize it. What are you going to minimize it to? A 9.2? I almost fucking died. Enough times to know that there's been a plot to murder me. And so I have right to discovery no matter how I speculate about the fucking issue. If someone's love is limited of me, I don't want that. I don't need your future faking me in the first place then leading me down this devastational road that I've been on. And then, look, I think it's absolutely fraudulent for someone to treat you that way. I think it's murderous. I think it's intentuous, and I think it's a very fucking sick crime. That's what I think. And I'm just supposed to be okay with it? I'm not. I'm not okay with it. And... And if they and if they wanted to, to, to make good with me, well, how about you choose a thing that you can actually help me out with and focus on, on, on it for a change instead of, oh, let's just leave him be because that's what they need you to do. So that just drives you crazy. It's called crazy making. It's narcissistic as fuck. It's just leaving you in the blight or the troubles, sorry, Leaving you in the blight or the troubles stacked up, on, stacked up. You can't get a hold of them. You can't get any help here. You can't get any help there. You keep trying to plug away and push, push away at all these buttons to see, can I get this thing discovered? Please, can someone fucking help me with this trouble that I'm in? And then you're just getting deflected. You're getting deflected on from even the fucking police. Like with the accident, shutting off that, I got the fucking videos even. There's nowhere I'm, I'm even found. How are you going to scrub me from discovery and being able to even speak what happened? How? Without being, with it being legal. It's, it's very illegal what's happening to me. And I think it stems into places that I believe need thorough investigations. So whatever, whatever people want to think, I just need to keep creating, I guess about this whole murdering of me. <laughs> such bullshit. Wanted to go such a different direction.